Time for bed. Time for bed, you bye. Uh, this is a school announcement. That sounds different. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. Okay. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Yippee! Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. Mm. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? <laughs> no, no more laughing. <laughs> How very... Ah, uh, magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. Time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But but I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely only on myself, on the Tagami blood flowing through my veins. Hmm. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. If you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. After making his final statement, Byakuya left the final dining hall. <laughs> but Master, he didn't take me with him. Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> Without Master, the rest of you are like... Coffee with cream. Without the cream. Or coffee. So we're a cup. <laughs> You're totally useless. So, bye. With that, Togo trudged out of the dining hall. <sighs> and now she's gone. And you're gonna... And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. Great. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself too. Okay. Not as bad. Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. Laughing <laughs> loudly, Hero left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves. What about you, Hina? Mm. Um. I guess I'll do the same thing. But I mean, it's not that I don't trust any everyone, you know. I mean, but up until now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice of you to say. But, but still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. So I figure at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that will help us all get out of here. <laughs> so I'm going to go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye. You know, so was in surprisingly high spirits that she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it was just us two. Indeed. Indeed. So, uh, what do you want to talk about? So you're going to go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? However... Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... It goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just... I should just see as it... I should just see it as a splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then... Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Monokuma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny of the, in the school. We could visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was... gone. Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the Mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove the Mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the Mastermind tr Mine's true identity and solve the mystery of this school. And then we can all escape together! Whippee! I guess I'll start by taking another look at Makuro's Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed in a single, a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other runes, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Mon Makuro, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. Headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. 
Ooh. Oh, and the second floor of the dorm is where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After that, I have to double check the, the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Oh my god, that's a lot. Uh-huh. Hmm. At least he wrote it down. Yep. Okay. Let's fucking get it. Okay. Where to first, Logan? Where do you want to go? Well, right there is the... the his next use the stairs to the second floor of the dorms. Is it right here? Yeah, you're in the dorms. Turn right. Oh. You know, I totally forgot about this hallway. <laughs> mm. I thought it was just for the storage room, but... <laughs> no, there was a gate there that whole time. I have Didn't see it. Didn't exist, didn't happen. The gate's open. We can finally check out the second floor of the dorms, which means I have to do it. No shit. Wow. This is the second door floor of the dorms? Looks like some ancient ruins. Or no, it's more like a battlefield, like a bomb blew up here or something. Why can't I see outside though? Oh. Why is there blood here? Someone got smacked by a rock. Someone got slapped, man. What's in there? The dark, empty void. Darkness. Well, whatever this way is, we can't go this way. Wait. Door! That's not broken. Mm hmm. What do we got? What am I looking at over here? Oh. Bed. The bed is completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore. It's just garbage. Oh. Nice. Nice. Nice coin. How about the- I'm in the bathroom. I would open the door just a crack, glance inside, and immediately close it again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom. It's just a big pile of rubble. Oh. Well, this room was a waste of time, then. <laughs> what the fuck? We can look at the map for this floor. Uh huh. So it's just it's an like... okay, cool, empty room. Nice. <laughs> yep. Well. Why is the ceiling the same as the wall? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what the hell? Bathroom? This is the girl's bathroom. Even in a place like this, like, you're such a coward. We're checking every room thoroughly. There's literally nothing uh in here. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even give me a prompt. What the fuck? <laughs> More blood. Someone died right there. Is that a giraffe in a locker? Hold up. More blood. <laughs> Looking over here. Ah. God, just another door, it seems. Uh, I want to go through this door first. What we got in here? Hmm, looks like the teacher's lounge. This room doesn't really feel like a student's room. Adult atmosphere. Correct. Hello. It's the headmaster's private room. Kyoko. Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. A regret. Uh, so I assume it's just, uh... A computer. There's a PC on the desk. It must have belonged to the headmaster. Speak. It would seem... Whoever used this last, it looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still has some search results left on it. Then we might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair. However, there's not much though. Nothing we don't really we don't already know. In other words, the ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. The group responsible for the tragedy, which happened one year ago. They're the worst sorts of people whose striving force comes from despair. However, and and that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? 
but I guess that's the best he could do as a complete Kirigiri failure. But any information about that mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever info we can get out our hands on. Correct. I see. That's a good outlook to have. Oh, spooky men! Uh, what else? The desk is a home to a computer. It must have belonged to the headmaster. Give me a coin. Why is there three? Is that paper or something? Nope. What is it trying to tell me here? Fucking hell. Chair. A leather chair. I can't imagine a student using something like this. It must have belonged to the headmaster. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Makoto. Looks almost meek like now. She must be thinking about something. I probably shouldn't bother her. So, is that everything? I. Oh, let me look at yeah, I was looking at the perfectly fucking door-sized indent in the wall. No, uh that's the way out of here, man. It would God damn it. However, another However. What about over here? Huh, there's a strange gap in the wall. It is some kind of design mistake or construction def defect or something. So There's a gap here, but not just a no any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? Indeed. There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space, does that mean... You mean like a hidden room? Oh my god. I'm not hidden. Nah. I think I might know how to open it. Well, spill the beans. Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. Yeah. So easy that I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. It's called opening the door. <laughs> I saw a program on the PC that I think controls it. Enter the right password and the door should open it right up. However, but I don't have a clue what the password might be. All we know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. Can't really go from there. You're right, that's not nearly enough to go on. It's true. I looked through all of his paperwork, all the files in the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that I might have been that might have been his password. <sighs> when I think of how much time I've wasted on this. Jeez. So there's a hidden room that she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there might must be some kind of clue waiting in, in there. But maybe for her, there's more than that. Than that. It. Than that. It. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password. And if Kyoko can't figure it out, there's no way to, do I stand a chance. No, wait. There might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of. Or something she didn't want to think of. For example, what about your name? What? Oh. Huh. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password. Knowing how she is, I bet she the idea never even occurred to her. Um, do you want to try it? Just to be sure. Well... It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Damn, okay. You don't want the credit? Fine, I'll take the credit for it. You know, I, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name. But if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. Hey. If you're about me, me, Makoto, don't be. I already know you're, that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. I collected myself and then turned to the face of the computer monitor. Let me just type the password here. Type in her full name. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, the door's open. What? That did it. Kyoko, it worked. She's pissed. Why? Kyoko? But looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. Well, I want to see what's in there. Hmm. Hey, Kyoko. I may as well not even have been in the room. 
Her gaze was fixed on only one thing. Give me a present. A present. Wrapped and covered it with such joy. That's what made it so unusual. Well, another turn of events. First, let's check out this awesome desk. Man, fine. <laughs> Stupid game. There's a brightly colored box here. It seems totally out of place in here. The more I look like it, the more the more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. Should we open it? I'm getting kind of, of a bad vibe from it. But I mean, we can't not open it. Oh, okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why, you think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprising? Probably. Huh. It would seem... If it is what I think it is, at the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway... Just don't scream or anything. Is it it's gonna be hit her, her dad's head or something like that? <laughs> I have an awful suspicion it might be that. Are you saying it's something that make me want to scream? I'm just gonna open it. Step by heavy step, I approached the box. I took a deep breath and took hold of the lid. Uh, light began to speak, sneak its way into the box. I stole hesitant a glance inside and, uh, uh of course. Kyoko's, Kyoko's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. Ah, well, it was kind of right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What was in the box? Just bones. Banana, nana. Human bones. It was the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? I see. Just as I thought. What? Speak, woman. Just as just as he thought. How could you have? How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there. Human bones. Mom. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. That's pretty much the same thing. A dead guy in a box. A dick in a box. My father. Huh. What about him? Correct. What you found in the box is my dad. Those bones. That body. That's my dad. Or at least, what's left of him. Are you serious? And, and and now to answer like this other part, why up here is all fucked up? Uh, the guy that was in the rocket in the beginning of the game was her dad. Oh. Huh. That's why up here is all fucked up. That makes a lot of sense. The same man she's been searching for. But there's a lot more blood everywhere, though. Maybe his body just went yeah, everywhere. Don't worry about that. Okay. Hold on, how can you throw... How can you know that for sure? How do you know that's him? So... Given all the information we have already, that's the only possible answer. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. <laughs> well, he's been... He's dead in the school right now. It's very... Uh, yep. Read this bunch. Killing green 16 persons in all of Sky School. The only people to take place. Yep. Are those 16 students? All to equal said the headmaster was probably here in the school. Only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game were of 16 students. When you put those ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume that most likely my father was in this school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption anyway. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or, no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it was just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong. Which is why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut all ties. But was that all there was to it? I gave up some of that pride, yeah, true character I would never do. Would she really give up her pride just for that? I could help but wonder. Man in a box goes into the bullets. Well, now I can check out this awesome desk. What? 
Oh, let's say now check the sick fucking desk. <laughs> the headmaster's desk. It's probably hiding some kind of clue. So I really want to check it out, but I really don't want to touch the clues. Oh my fucking god, man. <laughs> hey. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. Are you sure? Because... Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Well, okay then. If you don't mind. Awesome desk time! Woo! So starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing but unrelated documents. But in the last drawer... Huh. Is this... It's an e-handbook, right? It has a label on it that says, In case of emergency... I found some kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. In other words... A handbook with no limitations. Give it to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what that is. I think you're probably right. It would seem... You might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? But Kyoko... I... I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. Then I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? We got the e-handbook of the headmaster. Let's check out this sick photo over here. Huh, this picture. Oh, how cute. It's all faded. It must be pretty old. Wait, is this a picture of... Hey, Kyoko. Go! Why would you... Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past, and yet... To now find something like that. Like this. So what do you expect me to do now? Then I was right. This picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Uh-huh. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time, he must have really cared about her. Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself to cut out... Cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoning me again? And this time he's even stole the only opportunity I had to move on? Has there ever been a worse father? We're learning some lore here. Mm -hmm. hey. Listen, listen, Makoto. Yeah. Can I ask you a favor? Mm. What is it? So... I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this, and I know it's only inconvenient. It will only inconvenience you that much more, but... Hey. Could you leave? I bet. Can you fucking get out? Can you, like, fuck off for a few minutes? Correct. Just for a little while. I just like to be alone for a bit. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down. Well, you're definitely not fine. Just a second. When women say that, that means they're not fine. I need to get my emotions in order. You know, Mako Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But... Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you're going to say? Well... It, if so, it's just a theory. A GAME THEORY! And, uh, uh, <laughs> and this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. Oh. The picture doesn't change the fact of what happened. What I went through. I... The problem can't be solved so easily. You're right. I'm sorry. Anyway... Uh, let me get the fuck out of here. Once I've got myself under control, I'll return the investigation immediately. Okay. I understand. See you later. Yay, we get to investigate the draft room now. Is she really okay? Kyoko must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was shocked to me. We just saw this. Come on, man. Move on. Uh-huh. They killed him. The headmaster's dead. Be right back. Uh, the same person who was very to be the mastermind who planned all of this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. He's fucking dead in the school. But we were wrong about that. Headmaster wasn't the mastermind. <laughs> Who is a true, like, culprit? 16 students, and they were all here when the game began. The game began. 15 of us met in the, in the main hall. Add Makuro to the mix, and you got 16. And including me, only six of us are still alive. 
Everyone else has perished. Allegedly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dead. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Even Makuro. Even she's undyn undeniably dead. So the ones still alive, left alive, are... Me. Biakia. Hiro. Toko. Hina. And Kyoko. Only those six people are still alive. There, there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. Well, we're done with this room, so we'll go check out the giraffe room now. What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? What? Why is that there? Okay. Interesting hieroglyphic there. Giraffe coming out of locker room. Let's go. It's just a locker room. This room is filled with lockers. It must have been for the Hope's Peak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers. Obviously. Let's see here. Oh, there's a lot. There's a metal plate bounded, mounted to the locker. I really want to know what's inside, but there's no way. There's a coin on the side, apparently. Can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not even going to bother trying. You're such a weak pussy, man. What about this one? I wonder if I could open this locker. Locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. That must be how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card readers for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e-handbook to open those. So that mean... Well, let's just give it a try. Took out my handbook and ran it across the card reader. And then... Hmm. Maybe the locker's owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. Wait, but... What about the emergency handbook I found in the headmaster's hidden room? Ooh! Let's give it one more try! Okay, why don't we fucking open it, Dad? Beep. Ooh, it opened. Alright, just what I was hoping for. Now let's see what we've got inside. Whoa! This locker is totally disorganized. Whoever it belongs to is probably has organization problems in every part of their life. Why is there a crystal ball here? There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. And dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever stuff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I re can really talk. I'm trying to act as casual and natural as possible. I picked up one of the one of the notebooks I saw. The moment I looked inside that notebook, any sense of easiness may, I may have, I may have had it evaporated. I'm back. Whoa! Why is his st shit in here? Homie, we're getting some good information. Yeah. I also have a question, which will I'll come back to later. Okay. Yasha hero. Oh, oh my God! Why is this stuff in here? What? I'm assuming the question has to do with the hieroglyphic I. Yeah. Uh, there's no answer for that. What? <laughs> Did you hear me leaving or something? Uh, uh, no. Uh, I had to bring in uh, two plates and a bowl and my drink, so I had to make multiple trips. On my first trip up, I saw you were reacting to the eyeball. Oh. <laughs> so there's just no, no explanation for that, then? Nope. Okay. What? There was no divine of... denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written Yashihiro. Is this yep. our Yashihiro? You also did the two rooms in the most time saving order. I did, apparently. <laughs> the notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. Which would mean. He attended classes here? Uh oh. That can't be possible. I mean, Hero came to school at the same time as the rest of us, and we were all sucked into this evil world. We never had a chance to take any classes. So, what is this notebook? Hmm. 
Uh oh. Stinky. Crystal ball. Crystal ball? No, it can't be. There's no way he ever uses locker. It's just not possible. What's this? Is this a deck of playing cards? No, they're tarot cards. But wait, aren't those used for telling fortunes? I really hope this is just a coincidence. Is there more to look at? Oh, not his locker. Okay. It wasn't giving me, like, the thing. Alright, let's look at this one. I took the emergency hand. Yep, yep, beep, beep, beep. Looks like the locker opened, and now let's see what we got inside. Very awesome. Why the fuck are there metal plates everywhere? Stay out. But why? It's, no, it's so unnecessary. It looks like this locker is already broken. I didn't mean to click that one again. Let's try these ones. Oh, don't see anything that could be clue. Okay, what about that one? Oh, we got something. That thing is practically empty. Aha. Uh -huh. No, I don't think that's the only- No, I'm kidding. Mm. There's just one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written on it, so I can't say for sure who it is. But there's some writing inside. Could it be important? Yeah, I don't like viol violating the owner's privacy, but I better take a look. Oh, you're such a great dude. Dumb. Huh? Just, just read it, dumbass. Uh, don't. Yeah. It looks like a girl's handwriting. And all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Who wrote? This must have been really meticulous. Huh. I flipped through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there. Words I'd heard before. Oh. Thumbnail material. There's a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in communal life. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster, and my father. He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. To the point, the point is to keep our student prodigies safe. To keep them safe as hope for the future. Only their genius can un overcome disaster, and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as the foundation for a new era. This is the only hope we have. I hope that you will be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a self selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. Huh. This can't be true, can it? But I knew it was, and I knew exactly who the pocket belo pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko, it couldn't be anyone else. But if this belongs to Kyoko, what's it doing in this locker? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She said she hasn't seen her dad since he left when she was little. Hmm. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly, so have the handmaster and my father. What does it all mean? I quickly scan the remaining pages of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. When I reached the last page, the question marks spinning through my mind. It just started spinning much that much faster. When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disorganized, scrawled. The spirit walks among us, and so we serve. I didn't get to read all that. What is this? What does it mean? I have no idea. Can I see it again, please? <laughs> How could this possibly make any sense? Oh, there's a second to spare. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. The more I see, the less it makes sense. Because these lockers. I mean, they had to belong to the previous students, right? 
So why am I seeing this? Why are all these things in the lockers that look like they belong to people here? A notebook that seems like it belongs to Hiro, and a pocketbook that seems like it belongs to Kyoko. There has to be some kind of explanation. But if I want to find out that out, I have to keep moving the investigation forward. And I have to believe in everyone. Do I? Beep beep. Let's see what we got inside. Nothing. Awesome. What about that one? Nothing. What about the smashed one? I don't think this locker's gonna open. There's a coin on it though, apparently. Uh. I'm gonna play it. Uh, no, we don't need to open. And last one. Every time you've mentioned something's a thumbnail or something I see that could be one, I've quickly gone and grabbed it. Okay, good. Very good. <laughs> I can't imagine any way to get the locker open. I'm not even gonna try to bother. Okay, so we're done with this room then. Just double checking. Yeah, we're done here. Well, what does it mean? <laughs> I see you. Yeah, you. Fucking shit. All right. Uh, so we've done this. This this place is complete. I think. Done with. Yeah, this part of the school. All right. So now. now all the rooms and previous floors you've been. Data center. Ooh. Okay, hit the guitar riffs. That's the music that's been playing. Oh. We'll play it louder, DJ. Hey, Makoto. Ah, oh, Makoto, are you here to look around too? Is that what you're doing here? Mm. Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma store. Yeah. So I figured, if all the doors of the school have been unlocked, that one should be open too, right? Uh, Although I couldn't bring myself to open it. Because it might explode, right? That'd really suck if... So you open it. I'm just, I'm sure she didn't mean it, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. Yeah, let's blow up. It's late. Okay, so I guess I'll open it. Oh, wait, let me take cover first. I don't want to get exploded. You're s asshole. <laughs> Nina raced over to a nearby desk and hit underneath it. Okay, go ahead. Everything will be okay, right? All right, here goes nothing. I threw all my way into it, but the door... But the door opened much easier than I expected. Bobby. Whoa. What's this? There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was, whoa, this place is totally sci-fi. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of the same thing. It's pretty rad in here. And apparently there's only three things to look at. Yep. There's some kind of hatch on the floor. But right now I'm more concerned about that weird device. Okay. What is this device? It looks like some kind of control panel. It's really over the top, though. Like some kind of military installation or something. Mm. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? Hifumi-fied. Hifumi probably freak out if he saw it. Cockpit. So in the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. That then could that mean? Okay. All right, let's. There's only one can mean, you idiots. <laughs> what? Just them like. What could this mean? It's like there's only one fucking thing this could mean. Hmm. Alright, let's start poking at it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. I would not do that. <laughs> well, hold on, you can't just do just or whatever, something like this. But it was too late. Hina was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the other room. Hina, what did you push? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but... I think it was that. I think it was that one. The button that says data center. Data center. I took a good look at the control panel. 
I saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of a room next to it. And just like Kina said, there was one labeled data center. That must be the one she pushed. But the data center, that's right next door. The room we just, we were just in. That's where the strange noise came from. So I assume there's gonna be a bear in there. I probably, I, be I probably better go check it out. Yeah. Yes, please. I'm kind of scared out of my mind right now, so I'll just cheer on, cheer you on from over here. Awesome. What's up? Uh, oh, gotta load first. Did I hear what I think I heard? <laughs> yep, there he is. Is that Monokuma? <laughs> wow, look at him standing there, menacingly. <laughs> hey! What the fuck? Give me all- oh my god, she's controlling Monokuma. <laughs> mm -hmm. Give me all your donuts. Is that you, Hina? What? Oh man, busted. How did you know? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of setup? You don't even know what you're controlling. Hello. Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Found it. Ah, uh, guess what I found? A self-destruct button. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't push it. Too bad. Oh man. Were you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. The room with the monokuma drawing on it and the control panel inside. We're coming back in. Whoa, hey Makoto, what the heck was that just now, Monokuma? Huh? huh, what do you mean? What you were controlling just now, it was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? Oh. What, for real? Yep, it looks like the panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, we're, they were definitely in here. The Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And this control room is totally separate from the data center area. All the monitors. In other words, hey, maybe the mastermind can't monitor, mon monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Kyoko's theory was right. But, but if the mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from here, that means they've been inside the school this whole time, right? Yep. Whoa. Oh. oh, there we go. Uh, but if that's true. <laughs> I'm sure I told you the killing game begins with 16 parts through all of them. Ha! Ah. And those 16 students. The Mastermind Monokuma Puppeteer really is a 16 student. No, it can't be. There's no way, right? I have a feeling someone didn't actually die when they were supposed to. Someone's being a sneaky little beaver. Not a bad theory. And there's two people who are assholes. Um, what? I don't know. What's wrong, Makoto? I don't like the, that face that you're, you're making. Oh, no. It's nothing. Oh, okay. What about you? Is everything okay? Oh, uh, well, it's just... This is where the Mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if there's set up traps or something. I can't say if, if it is impossible, but I really hope it's not true. Um, so, like, so, you want to um, leave soon? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste all our time standing around here. Okay, you want to get going? Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Click. As they will you out. Oh my god. As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Oh. Ah, the door. It just locked on its own. What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. You're right, it's locked, but why? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Wait, what? They were in the room waiting for you to leave. Oh my god, they were in that hatch. Yep. God damn it. Of course it's locked, because the data center is now restricted. Monokuma. Just a second. Hey, no fair. You can't Close just... To the god damn. You can't just go around restricting whatever you feel like. Hey, um... It's for your benefit. Because if that room stays open, I won't be able to move around. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a benefit. 
Imagine how depressed everyone would get if the school mascot just up and stopped moving. Then that room. Yep. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. Um. So right now you're being you're being operated by someone in that room. Yes, indeed. Correct, Amundo. You're a liar. But that doesn't make any sense. We were just in there and we didn't see anyone. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? Are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? <laughs> well, I looked at the fucking hatch first. So... The Makoto's a fucking dumbass. Yep. Did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way! The hatch on the floor? <laughs> Too bad. This is your one big chance. And you blew it! You blew it! Too bad! I assume if he opened that hatch, the, whoever was in there would have just took a gun and just pa. <laughs> of course, the hatch can't be open from the outside anyway. So, oh well. Then how did you get in? So whatever. It was all, it, it's probably in case like it's always open. Oh. Now then, the room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. Peace. He's gone, but so, was he telling um, the truth? The mastermind was hiding in there. In fact, if you think back to when we got locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Huh? Then when I said we should leave, well, that hatch couldn't be open from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, we don't have t to let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, is keeping my body moving. Okay. okay, I'm gonna go run around and tell everyone what we found. Nice, you got me all motivated again. You got it. Okay, I'm out. See you later. Anna took off at full sprint, and I have to do what I can too. There's the only way forward. 